This year, mine. This year, mine. That's it right there. This year, mine. This year. What, what are you doing? I ordered my signature dance. Everybody got signature dance when they get hot. Okay. Y'all work that out. Yeah. I got, yeah. I got practice. Baby, come on, sis. Yo, Denver. Mm -mm. Just let it flow, man. Like, whatever happens spontaneously on the court, let that be it. Man, I'm going to be ready for mine. Watch, Fred. When the coach calls me out there, I'm going to have my shot down. I'm going to have my dance down. All right, let's see it. Everybody goes, let's see go. Because uh, 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 uh. this right here, this is me pointing like this here, mine. Ready? This here, mine. This here, mine. Everybody can do it. This here, mine. Where the rap is at? This here, mine. I'm going to call Drake. Someone get Drake on the phone. This here, mine. Hey, that's right there. That's the one. That's the way you shoot it. It's a road game for the Grizzlies, and they are facing an interconference matchup in today's game. We've got an action-packed Saturday night of NBA action for you. Thanks for joining us. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up. Well, the Gasol brothers, Powell and Mark, have a mutual love and respect. The lies their sibling rival. Great story, David. Thank you. You know, last season, and with the roster this young, you knew there would be growing pains. It's inevitable. You know, you can play inconsistent at times or simply play to the level of their opponent is what the Bucks were doing at times. All part of the process here, and they know they have to be patient. So Memphis will get the first group substitution here for Milwaukee. John Henson's checked in for Monroe. Prez comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Matthew Dellavedova has checked in for Chris Middleton. Young is subbed in for Carter Williams. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Wright is checked in for Randolph. Carter comes in for Chandler Parsons. And it's Ennis in for Allen. So on the four for Memphis. Brandon Wright is out there with Mark Gasol. And it's Ennis. And there's Carter. And it's Conley in at point guard. And with the growing pains of the Bucks last season, turnovers were a part of those struggles. It happens to young teams, and they were no exception. Hey, no pain, no gain. I know that's trite and simple, but it's real. You don't grow without some struggle. And the process of molding a team together takes time. Uh, players figuring out their roles, coaches figuring out uh, their players and vice versa. Rotations being tweaked. I think it's just a matter of learning and growing through your mistakes, and down the road, they'll be much better for it. Della Vidova kicks to Prez. Six to shoot. From the stripe, his shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And Prez came into the NBA early, as is so common now, but he still has the support of his loving mom. And the two are as close as any in the league, and she still hounds him to take care of himself. Well, that, that's what moms are best at, huh? I, I heard she will still send him care packages with food. I'm sure some of his teammates might rib him on that, but nothing beats a home-cooked meal from mom. I don't care who you are. Here's Gasol. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Plumlee with a screen on Carter. Prez kicks to Delvedova. Delvedova gets the screen from Kane. Off the pick. And it's good. Pop through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Troy Daniels, he's jacked in for James Ennis. Here's Gasol. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Toledovic dishes to Prez. Toledovic the screen. Kane the pass to Toledovic. And stolen by Wright. There's 42 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Wright sets a screen. Back to Carter. Fires the three. A putback, and Gasol able to finish. Gasol's got seven points. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But 
only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. The Bucks have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. Grizzlies have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. And so he makes both from the line. Milwaukee leading by three. And Young picks to Prez. Traps in the tray. He has seven. Just remarkable vision. Young is so talented at spotting the open man. Young with the steal. And we heard from John Henson before the game. A player on the rise. He feels he still has a lot to prove. Defensively, offensively, uh, you know, I think I'm better offensively than people give me credit for, and I'm stronger than I look. And uh, that's something that I'm trying to prove this year, as I've been proving the last three or four, so uh, it's going to be fun. Well, it sounds like he still feels like he has something to prove, Greg, but seems to me he's already known for being that kind of guy. Yeah, that's a great point. Any, anybody who plays against him knows he looks plenty strong when you're banging with him. But, but if he needs to push and motivate himself by playing with a chip on his shoulder, well, well a lot of guys have gone a lot. 125 left in the first half of basketball. And the Grizzlies, one of the top contenders in the West for a number of years, now at a bit of a crossroads. What do you think? Yeah, every team goes through this. There's a certain life cycle to any roster. The, the good news for the Grizzlies fans is that their front office has been right more often than not. We'll see if they can continue to pull another rabbit out of their head. Here's Gasol. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two some great passing here so far let's check out this chart that breaks down where the assists have been coming from for Milwaukee and their guards are taking on the majority of the passing and assisting for the team just as you might expect the bigs doing their part by getting to good spots inside Shoot two. and making themselves available and that one falls for Marcus Hall you look at what Gasol has done so far. He's got 10 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. And, and you can't undervalue the importance of that. Many times a game comes down to which team wins the free throw battle. And there's Prez on the assist from Young. He's got the lead up to nine now for the Bucks. It was a bit of a surprise to see Prez slip on draft. Many thought he'd be top five, but he fell to the back half of the top ten. Still, all that being said, the potential is there with him. Well, there have been a lot of players drafted in that range who have gone on to do great things. Steph Curry and Paul George are just recent examples. Prez still in great company given where he was drafted. Here's Henson, and it's right, sending it back. Here's Baldwin. Side Gasol. One second left, and the Grizzlies check on two more. And how does he get that one to go? No idea. And a pretty tight lead. All right, settle in, guys. This game is ours to lose. We've had our chances on offense, but we need to start. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. It's been a clinic out there by Marcus Hall. The big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Isles Plumley's checked in for Monroe. John Henson comes in for Jabari Park. Kane, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Young is subbed in for Chris Middleton. Memphis also making some changes. Brandon Wright's checked in for Randolph. 
James Ennis comes in for Parsons, and it's Troy Daniels in for Allen. Kane, he's in at small forward. Miles probably out there with John Henson, and it's Young, and it's Carter Williams in at the shooting guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. At the top of the key, Plumley. Now here's Prez. Not a lot of room. Charity stripe shot. Plumley, no luck. The Grizzlies trail by 14. And last year, really a series of highs and lows for Marcus All. Resigned with the Grizzlies, that max deal, and obviously the hopes were that they could make a championship run. And once the season started, uh, the Grizzlies underperformed. I mean, right out of the gate. And then just before the All-Star break, Gasol breaks his foot. And, and not at all how he'd imagine things would go. So I, I think, though, he used that for motivation to come back this year with a spectacular season. And it goes out of bounds. And last touch by Carter Williams. Mirza Toledovic has checked in for the Bucks. Carter, he's checked in for Memphis. Conley dishes to right. Shot left block. And Henson pulls it down. And talking about Gasol's injury last season, he fills up the box score in so many ways in all the categories. Greg, almost impossible to replace that kind of production. On the court, in the locker room, the community, he's one of those guys who contributes to every facet of your franchise. He's also a great teammate. And physically and mentally, you can count on him to be a warrior for you every night. Now, in his 30s, though, he has to try and take care of his body and maintain that a little bit better. Milwaukee leading by 14. 103 left to play in the third. Toledovic passes to Henson. Gasol with the steal. Conley against Young. The 10 footer. Conley's shot is off. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Team, that's good. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Conley kicks to Carter. Rejected by Kane. And nice job by Prez positioning himself for these blocks. I mean, sending a message with how he puts those shots in reverse. Henson, a screen on Carter. And it goes through once again. Nice hit there from Kane. Kane's got 13. Really aggressive play there, taking it to the rack against the big fella. You know, Greg, aggressiveness is really the only... And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Here's Conley. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So on the floor for Memphis. Zach Randolph is out there with Carter. Then it's Conley. And it's Brandon Wright, and it's Daniels in at the two. Carter with the bucket. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Carter against Zanadokounmpo. Here's Kane. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. Excellent game we've seen from Prez. He's got 13 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. And the Bucks making a change here. Parker's checked in. And Memphis also making a switch. Tony Allen's checked in for Daniels. Conley kicks to right. There's the pick. Back to Conley. Beyond the arc. Onto Takumbo pulls it in. On to Takumbo, has got his fourth rebound in this one. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. Randolph a screen. 
Allen dishes to Randolph. Plays it up and banks it in. Be a good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. Milwaukee leading by 18. On to Takumbo, kicks to Prez. Knocked loose, stolen by Randolph. Outside Conley. Down low, stolen by Monroe. Young pass to Monroe. Yes, that goes in. And let's get your take, guys, in the hustle stats. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. we got to get a look at that game film. I have a feeling there's a lot to learn. Oh, hey, the Prez is in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good game, y'all. Nice work. Yeah. No thanks to me. I'm surprised coach didn't pull me sooner. That's all right, man. It's all good. Oh my gosh, babe, that game was so good. Pretty good, right? Oh, that was so good. Uh, thank you. Thank oh, you. You guys seem to really be clicking out there. Finally, I'm telling you. Oh, so do you think you're finally settled in? Yeah. I mean, it took a while, but I feel like we're getting there. Oh. And I feel so like good. I'll be a little more settled in once you move <laughs> in full time. Uh, you mean after I graduate? Yes, after you graduate. Why are you so surprised? No, I mean, maybe a little. Um, I love being with you. It's just a little overwhelming with you being in the NBA. Right, tell me about it. I mean, just hurry up and graduate so you can come and hang out and we can do all this stuff together. Like, it's too much to take care of for one person, you know? All right, well, how about... How about? I entered the draft. You entered the draft, the NBA draft. NBA draft. Okay. I mean, I've been I've been working on some shots. I've been watching really? you. Okay, let's your shot. So let's you know, shot. like a little bit of like that, and like uh -huh. a little bit of like uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. okay. You're not. You, you don't even see I'm what's happening. Where what's is happening. the ball? Wow. We don't know. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. It's I'm terrible. Talk, I'll talk to coach, and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Trying to be there. like Prez, man. Hey, trying know, to be like know, Prez. Trying to be like PT. Oh, no, they got me, man. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> rookie life. Dang. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I going to do about oh, this? Not today. Oh, they got you too? Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, uh, my car is clean. You need a ride? Yeah, man, you need a ride? I mean, we gotta clean these up sometime. You know what? I'm gonna get a trash can. I got y'all. Yo, Denver's car didn't get tagged, man. That's not a good sign. He'll be all right. Look, it's nothing like some gentle hazing to like make us feel part of the hey, team. But yo, he's a rookie too. We gotta get him up to speed. Gotta look out for him. We should get him in the gym with us. All right, cool. If you want to. Well, look, how about we talk about that later? Let's just pay somebody to clean these cars up and go. Bet, bet. There it is. <laughs> oh. Shotgun. Oh, good call. Nice try, though. I was almost nice there. Nice try. I was almost there. <sighs> Damn, they're nice. Wait. Mm hmm. Where'd you guys go? Oh, they're hazing me now. Here it goes. Hey. Oh, it's time to haze. Yo, Denver, Denver. we're right here. Right here. Uh, Come on, man. Give us a ride. Now y'all need a ride. Yeah, now, hurry up. Now y'all want a ride from Denver. Matter of fact, no ox cord. No charge of your phone. Matter of fact, both y'all sit in the back seat. Now I'm dropping y'all off at the bus stop. How about that? Man, <laughs> you are so petty. So, so petty. petty. Just open the door, man. Nah, nah.